finding a co-founder is a challenging task and this is the reason why more than 2000 people search worldwide about how to find a technical co-founder finding a general founder or co-founder is easy but then when you are looking for a tech founder or co-founder it is often tough the reason is very simple tech people are very smaller in quantity and uh, operation people and marketing people are generally available so that's the thing and one of the strong reason why tech people don't leave mncs and come to startups is because the comfort which they receive there they get very good salary yes very good salary and companies like google facebook amazon all these companies want to keep these people have them in their company and they just want them to be feel comfy about it and they just want to get the work done so that's the reason why you see that all these tech people have higher salary and despite other industries slowly going down or like you know not being that competitive tech industry is still competitive and companies often compete for bringing this tech talents so in this video let us look at seven things which are actually creating issue in finding a co-founder for your company let us get started with number one the very first reason why you are not able to find a co-founder because you are not specific with your idea you are not specific with your market and you don't know how exactly to execute this thing you have to have a very clear mindset that this is what my product is going to look like this is how I'm going to target this market. This is how I'm going to spend my time with my engineering people. This is how I'm going to approach my first beta users. So once you have this approach, then you'll be very, very clear with what exactly to be done. And when you find a co-founder and when you are being very specific to them that this is where I need your help. This is marketing and we, I don't know much marketing, but this is where I need your help. When you approach this way, what will happen that the core problem that you don't know marketing will be solved not just in one way, but two ways. One, if the person is agreeing to help you by being your co-founder, great. He has done a good job and you have received what you wanted. But in case he is not interested in being your co-founder, he can still help you professionally because a lot of professional people are very, very open to help small businesses and entrepreneurs. They have a lot of respect for the entrepreneurs who are growing in our country and they will be happy to help you. So even though they don't want to become your co-founder, they can still solve the technical issue which you have that you don't know marketing or maybe they can recommend someone who can actually do the job for you. So being specific is very, very important and define it that was exactly you are expecting from a co-founder so that he comes and he joins you and gets to the operation rather than like you know being and mingled around and wasting time the second reason why you are unable to find a co-founder because you are not meeting enough people but this applies only if you are done with the first one where you are already specific and you are expecting that this is where i need my help from so second one is not meeting enough people if you are working in a company and you are just talking with your colleagues that hey i want a co-founder i want a co-founder let me tell you that a lot of people are very very comfy with their job they feel comfortable they don't want to leave and they don't want to leave their family especially if they are married so if you are just trying to find co-founder among people and colleagues more than often not they are not going to agree and you need to actually go beyond this you need to go among people who actually think like you people who want to do something people who want to do something extra and you'll be able to find these people only if you go in the group so if you're living around bangalore there are places like draper house ketonics where startups event happen and even though if you're not a founder you should go to all these events every saturday and sunday and you should meet people because this is where you will find that okay this person is in marketing and i can seek some help from him so even though if your core problem which is like you know finding a co-founder doesn't get solved you will still have a simple solution that you can put some intern you can ask him some help like you know maybe monthly one month or uh, like you know monthly once or twice and then he'll be able to help you in solving the problem for your startup and basically if you see from startup point of view your problem is actually being solved that means that your marketing issue is actually being solved so it's a very interesting way to solve this problem and you should definitely consider that so number three not having a very clear vision can always be a problem when i say having a very clear vision when you have a product which targets all kind of people let us say that from b2b small company Companies to enterprise top 500 initially top 500 or fortune 500 are not going to be your customer initially you have to target the small businesses because this will be easier to convert and once you do this then you can level up to little bigger businesses then you go can uh, then you can go to enterprise and then you can go to fortune 500 and this is how you'll be able to make the slow growth possible 
and you will be able to reach fortune 500 and if you do not follow this it will be very very complex you will require a lot of connections to make the thing happen and eventually it may not happen because fortune 500 companies actually look at your experience your background and a lot of other things before they purchase from you so getting from small to bigger will be easier and you should have a plan when you have a product which is targeting almost all kind of people how are you going to pay the employee which you pulled from a fortune 500 company to make sales how are you going to pay the co-founder whom you pulled from a very reputable job and very reputable mnc company you won't be able to make these payments and eventually your business will collapse so make sure that you have a business plan and you have a very clear targeting that initially i'm going to target small businesses and then medium sized businesses or big businesses or vice versa because in many cases it may like you know make sense to target only the fortune 500 companies and then go for small businesses or just get limited to only fortune 500 companies number five not being trusted by people when you do not have a background of business what happens that a lot of people do not trust you you do not trust you because they don't know your experience you are a general employee you are a general student who is just trying to come up with a random idea a lot of people have idea but less than one percent people will be able to execute it and that is why people don't trust you so if you have any kind of background in starting any small micro side business it will be really really helpful to convey the co-founder you are approaching that this is how we will go about it this is how we will uh, like you know create revenue for the company and this is how we will survive it really makes sense to share that experience because it really really matters so when you go from a small business to a big business a lot of things will change of course the general market or like you know targeting and running the operation stays there but a lot of things like compliances and then soc compliances then new new regulations which are given by the government has to be complied now if your application is not able to do that and if your co-founder is not aligning with that and he thinks that this is a lot of work and he could have made more money in the company maybe he's not the co-founder for you because he just thinks the grass is greener in the other side and he doesn't see the big picture so that's one of the reason why you need to have a very good person who can actually be trusted and it is important for the founder as well as co-founder to trust each other and then believe in the future that they are going to make a good company the number seven is a lot of people have ideas and they do not start they just wait for the other person to start or they tend to find a co-founder well you don't need to do that because you can get started alone if you don't know technology stack technology learning can be almost three to four months or three to six months work at least get started and when you get started when you are in the middle of the journey what happens that people see your hard work people see the efforts which you are trying to put in and it becomes easier for them to trust you because you have already got started if you just continue to talk and talk and talk more and more people they are not being interested because you have not started your work you have not started making efforts towards the company and if you are just talking it's not going to work out so what you need to do is you need to at least get started let be it a bad website let be it a bad database schema let be it a bad like you know landing page that doesn't matter once you get started people will come they will see your efforts and eventually they will be able to help you in the worst case if they are not going to help you or at least they can give you some suggestions on how to improve that which is very very important as you grow further number seven having a very big expectation but very low give up that means that you are expecting a lot of things from your co-founder but the amount or the percentage of the shares which you are trying to give to the person is very very small if you are trying to find a co-founder and if you are just sharing one percent or two percent of the company then he would not be interested maybe initially because your company worth nothing right now so for the other person to trust you he need to understand the value he'll be gaining in the future and many a times when co-founders get started the percentage may vary between 10 to 50 percent and then you have to find out that what kind of value he is adding and what kind of percentage or share you can give him back so considering these resources and the systems you have to actually make these decisions and based on that you have to improve yourself you have to put your efforts and you have to improve the visibility so people can trust you and that is how you'll be able to find a co-founder i hope that the video was interesting for you if it was give a like and if you have a question try to comment it below maybe we can connect sometime and then we can discuss further about your company bye bye